Hello and welcome to my channel. I am just Joe because it is just me and only me. So in this video, we've got the Rock Jam RJ361. I wasn't planning on doing such a video, but I thought, you know what? It's actually a bit of fun, something different for the channel. Although back when I did buy this keyboard like two years ago now from Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description if you need it. I literally learned my first song within the five within the first five minutes. And the main reason why I wanted this keyboard, not this one, but a keyboard, was to play Coldplay Clocks and um, learnt it within a couple of days. All it is that you need to get the hang of is just the rhythm. And because I'm not a musician, I'm not a keyboard or piano player. So when you're learning an instrument, I don't need to say this, but it takes a practice and a lot of it. So, I mean, I'm still rusty now. Um, you're going to see later in the video, I'll play a couple of tunes for you. The only two that I can still remember because two years later and uh, dusted the brushed off the dust and uh, still a little bit rusty, but it's fun. I love it. So um, I'm going to just play a few tunes for you, but uh, just want to say thank you for checking out this video. I appreciate it. Uh, later on, if you did enjoy it, just drop a thumbs up, leave a comment if you want to. And uh, yeah, see you all at the end of the video. One thing, I don't know why, it doesn't even matter how hard you try Keep that in mind, I designed this rhyme to remind myself how I tried so hard In spite of the way you were mocking me, acting like I was part of your property Remembering all the times you thought would be, I'm surprised that you sing God, so things aren't the way they were before I skipped a bit Oh by the way, this is the Rock Jam 361? RJ361 yeah, it says right here on the keyboard, Rock Jam RJ361. It's like the cheapest keyboard uh, you could probably buy on Amazon. I got it for like £40. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now, and I've not really played it for the last year. So I can only play the same songs that I learned when I first got it. I just went through a phase, but I mean, I still glad I bought it. Yeah, it's not the best sounding keyboard, but to me, it still sounds good. The um, the actual rhythm, like the sound, is number fifty seven. I don't actually know what that is. It's like a synth kind of thing. Sorry, it's not rhythm. Tones. I can show you the uh, the standard piano tone, the default tone piano this is what it sounds like
And then I'm not going to go through them all, but yeah, the the standard piano tone is kind of just really bad. It doesn't sound good. It sounds cheap. You pay for what you get. So, um, number ten, string ensemble one. Yeah, in fact, strings. Yeah, so that's same as fifty seven. A little bit. There is actually a difference. I'm gonna go back to ten though. Might actually sound nice. I'm just gonna put the microphone close to the keyboard. Still a noob. Still get it wrong. after all this time it has been a while though since i picked it back up but uh they're pretty much the only two songs that i still remember but that's the whole reason that was the main reason why i bought this keyboard i just wanted to learn coplay clocks i just love the song love the melody just love that piano in that song it just made me want to buy this keyboard well not this one just a keyboard so i thought as a beginner I'll uh, try and find the cheapest keyboard. And this was it. The Rock Jam RJ361. In fact, I say it was £40. It's because I think I had an Amazon voucher. That's why it was cheap. Yeah. I had an Amazon voucher. So it might not be as cheap as that. But uh, there's the RJ361. But there's also like a 761. It has a MIDI output. This one doesn't. It just has headphones. Aux in and a mic in and a USB port. I don't know what the USB is for. I think that's for like recording, but I'm not bothered about that. Having a MIDI would be cool because then I think then I would be able to connect the keyboard to the PC and be able to record directly into the computer, which would be awesome. And it would mean that I wouldn't have to have my microphone to the speaker of the keyboard to record the sound. Such an amateur setup, but that's what I am. I'm an amateur. I'm an amateur. I'm an amateur. <laughs> I'm an amateur. <laughs> Try and say that as fast as you can. I'm an amateur. Um, so yeah, you know, just a quick, brief overview. Really, I wasn't planning on doing a review, or I just wanted to do a quick test. But turns out it's going to be a YouTube video as well. This is going to go on YouTube. Why not? So the Rock Jam RJ three six one. For absolute beginners, just like myself, and I'm a grown-ass man, and I'm happy with it. So if you're going to buy it for your children for Christmas, I'm sure they're going to be really happy with it too. But I'm just easily, easily pleased. I'm not complaining, but for more of a professional, yeah, do not get this. You probably want to stay away from Rock Jam. I don't know. Go for like the more branded professional keyboards. Heck, if you've got the money, Buy yourself a piano or a grand piano. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But uh, yeah, if you guys want me to do like a proper a proper review, go through some of the functions and features, I'm happy to do that. I can make that in another video. Um, we'll go through like all the buttons and stuff. To be fair, I've not really gone through them myself. All I did was powered the thing on, 
turn the volume down a little bit because the default volume is really loud. But a good thing about that, as I mentioned, it does have a headphone socket, so you can plug in your headphones and, um, yeah, you'll get no complaints from the neighbours, your parents, partner, the dogs. The dogs might start howling. Or the, the cats might start, like, scratching the windows. <clears throat> Saying, please start. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, just drop a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any comments. Check out the description for some like more info. There's links in there to uh, connect with me on social media. Um, I live stream on Twitch as well. And uh, yeah, just check out my channel. There's a lot of content on there. Wide variety of content. Maybe not for everybody. But if you still want to subscribe, I'm not going to complain. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys. See you later. Thank you very much.